A young businessman with a passion for music shot and killed by a Dallas police officer who mistook his apartment for her own. Today, prosecutors seek murder charges against that former officer, Amber Geiger. Thanks for joining us. I'm John McKay. And I'm Marie Saavedra. This is the case that made international headlines. Today, a new quest for justice for Botham Jean as a grand jury convenes. Our David Goins is live with the latest on this grand jury. David. Hey, Marie, this grand jury has been meeting all of today. A lot of work to do, a lot of witnesses that will continue into later this before they're able to decide what charge, if any, former DPD officer Amber Geiger will face. It's not much to see. It's not even really a courtroom. But behind these doors, 12 grand jurors are deciding what charge, if any, to indict Amber Geiger on. She's the fired DPD officer arrested for manslaughter in September after shooting and killing Botham Jean in his own apartment saying she confused the song leader for a burglar, thinking it was her apartment. I think you can expect an indictment. Is it a manslaughter case or is it a murder case? James Whalen is a criminal defense attorney not connected with the case, who explains this process is much different than a jury trial. The grand jury, their standard of proof is just probable cause. Which is a much lower bar to meet. The grand jury has two options. They can no bill or not charge Geiger at all, or more likely hand up a manslaughter or murder indictment that will then go to trial. What we do know is that the ears and eyes of this world is on Dallas, Texas right now. Attorneys for both of John's family say they are ready to appear before the grand jury if needed. His parents sat down with us Sunday. Allison John said grand jurors will not hear from the witness she trusts the most, her son Botham. And he's the one that I would have depended on for the answer. In the nearly three months since his death and Amber Geiger's arrest, it is this moment when prosecutors are finally presenting evidence that the Jean family believes the next step in justice could arrive. They've been eagerly anticipating a decision from the grand jury. Since grand jury proceedings are secret, we don't know what witnesses have been called that would include the Jean family and their work will continue. We're told so many witnesses has so many witnesses needed to be called that it will continue on Wednesday. We may not learn until midweek or perhaps later what charge Amber Geiger could face. Live at the Frank Crowley Criminal Courts Building, David Goins, Channel 8 News.